Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to are we going to implement the view controller, how we can talk to the model, and how we can talk to the view, and then do all these kind of uh, interactions and to complete this tip calculator. Okay. Now I will over to the tip calculator view controller .swift. and before doing that, let's organize the code a little bit. Okay. The first thing I want to do is I will have a mock over here. Now, what is a mark? Um, let's before I doing that, I will show the, you this. Um, if you go over that area of the code, you, you click onto that, you will see that you have all kinds of. The first thing is all kinds of variables, um, constants, properties. Okay, and the M is method. Okay, you have the view did load, which is here. You have the did receive memory warning. There we go. And if you see that we have a, um, a line like that and a bold text, the navigation. And here it is in the, this is a mark and it separates your code like that. Okay. And because later on in your very complex project in the future, I hope that you will have a very complex hundreds and hundreds of lines of code. And it will be great if you have this tool and you can navigate through this. And actually, let's say I want to view the view did load. I will type view did load, and it will search the view did load for me. Very cool, huh? All right. So in the in the future, when you have a very complex app, remember to use that. Okay. Now I will have a mark over here, and this is I will name this properties on maybe you IB outlet. Okay. This is something I just do very often personally, so that I organize my code. And this is the mark is properties, properties, okay. And this is mark. What? Guess what? View controller life cycle, right? We do this a lot in our playlist app, right? And guess what? We don't need this. We don't have to care about this. And in this one, we don't have to care about navigation. Also, this is prepare for segue. And I hope that you remember what is prepare for segue method, right? We use this tons of times in the play playlist app. When we navigate through, we transition from one MVC to another MVC in a navigation controller, or in the next uh, few projects. I will show you. Um, it doesn't. It actually has tons of uh, usage, right? So I will de delete that. And here is our view controller tip calculator view controller and I will make a little bit space and when I go over that one I will see that I have a line IB outlets there we go I have properties view controller life cycle the code looks nice now the first thing I'm going to do is um, the properties what do we need here we will need the tip calculator right so I would do var tip cal equals tip cal and we will need to have the this uh, initializer the uh, the amount before text let's say it is 25 the tip is 20 0.2 okay so before doing that let's go over view did load and we will do some of the setup for this uh, ui okay so what we do amount before text text field dot text equals string um, I want to do the um, amount before text, which is this 25 to be like by default, it will be 25 over here. Okay. Um, string format. Okay. And I want to have the format because um, let me show you how percentage 0 0.2, 0 0.2 percentage at F, right? And this one means that I want to have a floating point number and I care about the second decimal space, the second accuracy. Okay. And here the arguments, we have to specify an array of arguments. So I will have an array syntax and inside this, I will do tip count, tip count dot amount before text. And let's actually run this so that I can show you what, what I mean by using this this thing and remember that amount before text text field that text is you select you 
um, change the text property of this text field. Okay, and yes, indeed, when you open up, um, you run the project, the default one of this is twenty five. Okay, and you can actually do this in X. Uh, in in X. Why is it? main dot storyboard right but i want to show you this way so you are more exposed to the code and swift so let's do this t percentage label dot text okay we have a label t percentage right like that and i want to set this equals string format um, the format is tip percentage d percentage percentage okay it's a little bit clunky about that so let's explain this percentage d is the it is an um integer integer or natural number okay positive one and percentage percentage is just the percentage sign okay this is kind of like a language a c language syntax so it's hard to understand <laughs> right so we have to still have to provide an argument an array and now i want to do the int a uh, tip count dot t percentage percent tip percentage times 100 right because you remember this is a float number and we want to do it into what an integer so i would do grab like that and before that i would do int meaning that i want to convert this from floating point number to int so let's run this and hopefully we'll go ahead to all right you could see that our this one is cut off uh, how are we going to do that we go over the view it made our storyboard and because it doesn't have enough space so i will do it like that okay just like that and then i run it again it's just because this label doesn't have enough space and there we go okay and guess what we miss a colon so colon run it again there we go right so what else do we need we will need the um maybe that's it right all right so next thing i want to write an cal tip function okay so i would do func cal tip this is the function in here and whenever i call this one i will calculate the tip now i would do tip count dot tip percentage equals i want to convert it into float tip percentage slider and now i want to have the value from this tip percentage slider right so i would do dot value Okay, because when I click onto that command click, then you will see that this is UI slider. Click into that. Okay, and UI this is the interface for this class UI slider. It inherits from UI control and and as and, um, it conforms to NS encoding. You don't care, don't have to care about that. The thing is, you have to care about this one. Value float default zero point zero. Okay and you also they have the minimum maximum okay so that's it that is why we have this ui slider and another thing you can do is you go over the help documentation api reference okay and i was a ui slider all right ui slider there we go ui slider class reference and this is the documentation okay and you would see task and over task you have accessing the sliders value and you have the value you have the set value how cool is that right this is so this is documentation i use this all the time besides google okay so if you don't have to uh, implement anything first check out the uh, no first check out google search what do you want to implement search the whole thing Okay, and chances are everyone has gone through your problem, on gone through what you want to implement. So, and if you don't find anything, check out the documentation, right? And now let's talk about this tip uh, count again. 
next thing I want to do is I want to change the tip count amount before tax. So tip count. And remember, tip count is an instance of the tip count like that. So now we are changing those values, right? Tip count amount before tax equals, what is it? Amount before tax, text field, right? Dot text. Now we have this is a text. It is a string, right? So how are we going to convert this text from a string to a number? Well, the first thing I want to do is I have to convert it to an that string because let's um all right because actually the string in Swift doesn't have um, kind of like convert directly like that but in that string which is the string class kind of like in Objective C and it has the tool to uh, switch from text to numbers so I would do S in S string okay and I have to grab it like that so now we have an NS string. It's simply just a string of ta of Objective C thing. Okay, and I will do float value dot float value, and there we go. We have a float value. I if I click onto that, I will see float. Okay. Now what else? Then we have all the things we need to update this tip, tip calculator, right? We have the tip percentage. We have the amount before tax. So I will do tip count dot calculate tipped all right there we go now the next thing I want to do is after we calculate the tip we will need to update our UI right so let's update UI funk update um, okay so after we calculate tip we will update UI right and this is the method we are going to write so funk update UI okay in here, we will change the results label text, results label text, which is that one, which is this one. Okay. We also change, um, that's it. Okay. So update UI result label dot text equals string. We use the string format again, format. And this is what is its format total, total. Okay. And dollar sign and percentage 0.2F. And then tip, comma, colon, uh, dollar sign, percentage, 0.2F. Again, so let's talk about that. We want the format of this to be total and then the amount of the total. And then tip, the amount of the tip, in which we have the dollar sign. And percentage 0.2F, it's just a floating point number with two decimal places, okay? And the arguments now this one will make sense a lot of sense for you why we need an array of arguments because here we have two placeholder for these these values okay and now the argument we will need to provide this one and this one so that is an array okay so i will do an array syntax there we go now the first thing is the um the first thing we will need is the total amount right tip count dot total amount the second thing we need is tip count dot tip amount dot tip amount tip amount all right so what okay so let's run this all right so you notice that it doesn't change why is it doesn't change well, we will figure out why it doesn't change in the next video, okay?